cities. You are a force to be reckoned with. It's not easy to defeat such a vicious monster. Please, take this reward. My heart will no longer be filled with dread when I venture into the Shi. Farewell. Hello. you are, dustling. Perhaps I can find a use for this. Obey the edict.
where you are. Perhaps I can find. Put the your blades away. <laughs> Some luck, did you? Let's talk gold. How many did you bring me? That's it. These will drive the visitors mad with envy. Everyone will get one. And what will I get? Whatever rewards they deem worthy. Bring me something nice. And we must do what needs to You must be the special messenger Tatarian's expecting. Trust me, the rest of us have heard plenty about it. Erwin can't keep his big mouth shut. I am Methani Keen, Dokulfar ambassador to the Summer Court Fay. I'm sorry. This is a difficult position sometimes. Something is about to happen, and it must be stopped. But that is all I can say. This is neither the time nor the place. If you're interested in hearing my story, meet me in the worship circle after dark, near the gates. I will wait for you there. Goodbye. Dinadon grant you justice. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
poor you are, dustling. Perhaps I can find... Obey the edict. Sounds like you've been busy. Open up your pack. Yes, you've done well. Take this gold. It's a fair share of what I'll make selling these beauties. Now, uh, I hate to do this to you, but demand is low. Scarcity, you see. It's defeated us. We've created so many of these trinkets that they're not valued anymore. You've done fine work, though, and here's a little extra something for your trouble. Have faith. I have a feeling the next fashionable thing is just around the corner. We'll be back in business soon. Good. You've come. I'm sorry to make you wait like this, but what I mean to discuss is very sensitive. It involves treachery. Despite the calm you see around you, the gardens of Issa are on the brink of war. And the question is, who will be fighting? There are plans being made to seize this city. The Varani are displeased with the Court of Summer's lack of support for their people. 
and they wish to overthrow Tatarian and force the remaining Fey to fight. We can prevent this, but we must act now. If gold is an issue, we Dakulfar can pay well. Of course, it is the right thing to do. The leader of the plot is the Varani ambassador, Kirna Brenner. Every night, the ambassador strolls Memory Walk, alone. She carries a pair of daggers. Take them. Afterwards, dispose of them. Destroy them. Salvage them. I don't care. Return to me when it is done. Goodbye. Aren't you bold? This is the Varani wing of the embassy, and few venture here without being summoned. I am Ambassador Odvar, he who bloodies the waters. The Varani allow the purchase of several titles for use in the gardens of Issa, but they are rare and should be worn with great respect. Ah. One of our most unusual titles. You will be watched with a close eye when you walk with this name. I proclaim you Death's Cryptic Hand. I don't have time for this. How may the Varani be of assistance to you this day? Our time is not to be wasted. Stay out of my way. What do you want? Do you have business with the Varani in the Gardens of Issa? If so, then you must speak with me, Kierna Brenner. You must mean Keen and her cohorts in the Embassy. Lapdogs, all of them. They don't appreciate the situation. They don't understand sacrifice. This plot interests you. Listen, Ambassador Keen tries to stop me, but she can only do so while she lives and breathes. You can help me put an end to that. Fine, but you are playing this game for the weaker side. If Keen wants to stop us, she will send someone, and when they come, I will be ready. Thank you. 
Presenting the instrument of the immortals. His eminent... Let us never speak of this again. I don't know you. I don't like you. And I hope I never see you again. Take this gold and these supplies. Such items are hard to come by in wartime. This is where we part. You are?
You have completed the task that the Hierophant set out for you, as all travelers are expected to. Well done. What I invite you to join is not a fraternity, not a guild. It is a family, a race, a bastion for those of like mind and talents. All travelers are now your kin, and you theirs. Now, the Hierophant has called for you to serve again. The Seer demands, so you must answer. The next task is unique. It involves stealing from one of my kind, Amateur, Lord of the Hunt, fallen member of the Courts of Summer. This is what I can tell you of the task. Pray at the Hierophant Shrine and receive their blessed wisdom. Good luck. Well, you've got a lively bit of swagger about you, Traveler. Fancy on helping me with a bit of work. It's keys I need, Burke. Prison keys. The travelers are getting locked up in record numbers. I'm not one to sit around with my mouth agape. Getting these keys could save a traveler from the noose, but to get them, you'll need to get to jail yourself. Talk's one thing, Burke. You bring me those keys, and then I'll know that you decided to do it. Pleasant travels, Burke. So, you've come to me again, Shade. So competent you were in your last mission that I've prepared another for you. You will steal Buru's boots from Amater, Lord of the Hunt, once member of the Court of Summer. There has not been word of the Lord of the Hunt for some time. When I scry for him, I only see portents of his herald, Ergaze. The road to the boots lies through her. You must seek her out in the She and learn where to find Amater in the boots. Greetings to you, Traveler. I had hoped I would meet one of your kind in these woods. You seek to rob the Lord of the Hunt, Amateur. I wish to see the boots taken from my master as well, but I do not have them. I can only reveal their location to you. To find them, you must find Amateur, the Lord of the Hunt, the one whom I herald. But this is not merely a matter of an owner and his possession. The Lord of the Hunt has secluded himself in Arduet because the boots carry a terrible curse. No, though I yearn to see my master...